Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. In today's video we will be working on the Chevy Cruze and we will show you guys what needs to be done to remove or to replace your center console. The console might need to be removed for multiple repairs guys such as uh, uh, a few of them are uh, brake, brake cables if you need to replace. You may need to replace shifter assembly, you may need to replace traction control sensors, quite a few things guys. So stay with us and we'll explain guys how to do that. Quick introduction, every car we get at the shop okay including this chevy cruise we'll be making at least 200 videos why because our mission here at the shop is guys to save you as much money as we can so please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video for all the work we do here at the shop if you need to buy any parts or tools guys check out the link in the description of the video below you can get everything for super good price and fast shipping as well so let's start on it now so let me show you guys what we need to do first right here we have uh, two screws that we need to remove Okay, you can see one coming out. Now, second one, guys, is coming loose. Okay, now, right here underneath that flap, we need to remove it. Now, things get a little bit more complicated, and I will explain in a second why. Because we have the USB cable and the auxiliary cable here, guys. So. Now, in order to disconnect them, you can you have to reach from the back, but you cannot reach from the back unless you remove two bolts. And I'll explain where those are now. So, removing this one now. Okay, let me just grab those screws and pull them out. Okay, so they're not in the way. Okay, perfect. Now, guys, let me explain, okay, what else we need to do. So now guys, we're going to leave that thing up, but you cannot pull it out, unfortunately, okay. It's not possible, because we have the cables, okay, the cables for the, uh, right there for the uh, USB and auxiliary port as well. So now right here in the back, okay, you just lift it up, and there is, okay, two more that we need to remove, two more screws like that, guys. So let me see, or I'll be able to pull it out. No, I will be able, it will come out, guys. So uh, once I disconnect them, okay, I'll show you what needs to be done. Okay, let me just grab a screwdriver now to push in here. Okay, you can see that thing comes out. Now, how you attach it, guys? Okay, right here. Okay, let's focus here inside now. That here, guys, that black thing, okay, it slides up and down. This is for the USB, okay. When it comes down, like that, okay, you unhook it, guys, and it comes loose. This thing right here, okay, you just press in here and you pull it out as well. And you can see that thing will come out. So let me show you what to do next. So now we, we have three screws that we need to remove towards the back with a few of screwdriver, guys. One, two, da, I just dropped that one, good thing it's still here, number three now, right here, and the armrest lid should come out. Okay, almost, almost coming out, guys. Okay, let me get that bolt loose. Perfect. Now if I come towards the front and pull it out, okay, you can see, guys, the armrest lid came out of the car just like that. With that uh, cover out of the way now, guys, let me explain why we did that, because right here now we have two hidden bolts and if you do not remove those bolts you're going to break the holes and uh, later it may not close good and uh, your arm uh, armrest lid cover may not function correctly guys so what i'm going to do now okay right here in the corner there is just two okay two screws that we need to remove okay perfect just like that so one is almost out okay black screw guys like that okay check it out now we have one more right there this is the second one 
Many people will not think about that because most of the ones the back just has clips but this one has screws otherwise you cannot remove it. Perfect. Now I grab it and it has four clips. We grab it, pull it out. Okay and this is your cigarette lighter outlet. Okay down there. So what I'm going to do now, okay right here we need to press in Okay, let me press in and disconnect it and I'll show you guys. Okay, that thing right there. Okay, that's where you press in, disconnect it. And this is, guys, okay, right here, your cigarette lighter socket now. So what we need to do next, guys, we're going to work right here on that trim removal. Okay, so let me show you, okay, what we need to do. We need to get a plastic panel removal too, guys. And now right here, okay, we need to pop a couple clips loose. Okay, one came loose now, more here on the bottom, I'll start towards the back now, right here, hopefully we can get a few out, you have to be careful not to break your heater controls because it's trying to push up, but actually what we need to do, okay we need to come out and up. So you will see in a second. Okay, this one is stuck a little bit here. Okay, perfect. Now we go up like that, guys. We're going to flip on the other side. I'll disconnect the switches and show you what I'm doing. Give me just a second now. Okay, to see exactly. Okay, how this one is, I need to get a small screwdriver. Okay, and that wire now right here, we just need to pry it gently to come out. This wire on this side is a little bit easier. That uh, grip piece, you need to push it back. Push down. Okay, and disconnect it. That piece comes out. Now, what else, guys, we need to uh, remove here? Why we need to do all that? Okay, because the center console actually, you can see, is bolted right here. So, what we'll need to do next, okay, let me go get a screwdriver, the power electric screwdriver, so I can, guys, uh, remove easily next uh, few bolts, so I don't waste your time, because we'll need to remove, guys, okay, you can see that cup, uh, that uh, not holder, mm, like coin holder, whatever it is, that storage compartment right here, we'll need to remove these two screws. So, I get the same 7 millimeter socket now that we've been using, but I'm just gonna put it on the screwdriver so it saves me a little bit of time. Okay, one screw there, one here, the same screw is on the other side. So I'm going to leave that storage compartment up. Okay, and I'll just leave the screws here so I don't lose them. Next, guys. Okay. Right here we have one screw that we need to remove, but okay, now things got even more interesting. That center console, it's not an easy thing to replace, guys, and, and I'm going to explain why. Let me just make sure that this thing stops. Okay, this ball will need to come out, this screw. Okay, perfect. Now one more on this side. Just like what we had on the other side. Okay, right here. Perfect. Now, let me see if we're gaining anything here. Okay, to make sure that it's not coming with the dash. Okay, perfect. So far, guys, so good. We're done here. Now, let me explain what else we need to do. Okay, that now, emergency brake needs to be lifted up. Now we're going to move that seat all the way to the front and we'll move the passenger seat all the way to the front too. Both seats need to go to the front guys. Okay, let me just get my screwdriver and I'll explain why. So, both seats to the front. Now we come to the back. Okay, and here remember where we removed a few things. Okay, now right there. Let me just show you quick. We have two more screws that we need to remove on the right side. Okay, and one here. 
perfect now exactly the same thing needs to be applied okay to the driver's side okay right there so one here okay and one over there now guys if you try to move your center console up it should actually start lifting itself up but I was trying to see if we actually needed to remove that piece let me see now okay it looks like it's loose on this side now let's come to the passenger side okay right here i'll get the screwdriver because we're going to need it again and you'll see where okay and now here guys i'm going to screw that seat all the way to the back okay i know it's a little bit of a chaos but here now we need to remove one more cover okay this cover how it comes out i usually pull on the front here on the bottom it has a few clips okay so let me explain where the clips are okay you have one two three four clips and two that go kind of like that under the other one now with the same two guys with the same screwdriver i'm going to remove okay right here we have one more bolt that we need to remove one more screw excuse me screw or bolt practically the same thing so what we need to do now we need to go to the uh, to the passenger uh, to the driver's side and we need to do exactly the same thing okay so let me focus quick because the camera is a little bit foggy okay perfect now i'm going to go ahead and attempt to remove that one too okay that cover okay this one came out now with that thing being out guys i can remove that screw right there okay the screw is out now we're going to attempt to remove the center console now so now okay if we lift it up okay let me see if it's going to come out of here guys we have a few cables still attached one of them is for the cigarette lighter that i'm going to disconnect okay from okay right here i'm going to show you how to do that in just a second okay give me a second because i cannot actually get my hand in there from this position okay perfect now if i lift it up more okay here it looks like something is still holding and this is guys i have a few clips holding okay the wiring harness to the center console So I need to see okay how that's gonna come out now. One of them came loose. Okay, another one came loose. One more. Now right here one more clip holding. Okay, that wiring harness in place. and now it looks like the only thing holding guys okay is the emergency brake handle that eventually came out now let's come here closer and show you where all the clips were okay one of the clips was holding here okay for the cables the other one was underneath right here guys i unhooked those and you can see this came out now those are the clips I was talking about, just two clips right here you can see. And that center console guys, okay, comes out just like that with no problem. So you can see guys, that's how you remove the center console on uh, Chevy Cruze. If you guys need help with anything else, else, please let us know. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.